In this video, we show you how to connect to a Google account on the Sony Xperia S. Now you may have seen one of our other videos where we switched the device on for the first time. And it may now be necessary to connect to a Google account and it is indeed recommended if you wish to back up a lot of your contacts, calendar appointments and settings online. If you've already been through the switch on process, the procedure is to tap the menu button, click settings, scroll to accounts and sync. You will now have the ability to add an account. Now we've already connected to a wireless network here and you will need to be connected either to a wireless network or have a data connection to the internet through your phone provider to be able to proceed with this. Click Add Account and choose the type of account that you would like to add. In this demonstration, we're going to add a Google account. It will now take us through the setup process. Click Next. If you have a Google account already, you will tap Sign In. If you do not already have a Google account, you can click Create and you can create one from the mobile device. Alternatively, you can create one online through a desktop computer. It is advised to have this Google account because it does act as a great way of backing up your device. Do not be worried about security unless you have particularly sensitive information on your phone because Google has the strictest security policies and none of your data should become easily accessible by any third parties. Assuming you've created or you do have a Google account, click sign in and then enter your Google username or email address. Once you've entered your email address, tap next and you'll be prompted for your password. Once you've entered your password, click Done, and then click Sign In. Your device will now connect to your Google account. And we can see here that we've actually made an error with our username or password. If this is the case, click Back, check your email address, and re-enter your password. If your settings are correct, it will then connect to your Google account. So it tells you what it can do and you can choose which of these features it actually completes. If you click Backup and Restore, this will restore and back up as much data as possible from your mobile device and should you ever lose your device or need to replace it, you'll have the greatest ability to replace the data on your phone as quickly as possible. So we're going to click Accept in this instance and click Done. You'll now see we have our account showing up under the Accounts section here. At the moment we have Auto Sync Off. Now this is entirely up to you. Activating Auto Sync is a case of pressing the icon there and it's recommended really to have auto sync because that will always be connecting and backing up your data and checking that things are in line with your Google account. You can switch that off and it could potentially have an impact on your battery life if you were to switch it off. It would probably increase it. It will need a wireless or data connection to complete that synchronization. We can then tap into the account and configure which of the elements are actually synchronized. Now, it's automatically synchronized everything here, but we can choose which ones we want the phone to complete. So if we want it to synchronize only our Gmail and calendar, we can do so. The benefit of connecting to a Google account is should you make a change to your Google account online, so for example, you add a contact, to your Google account through a desktop PC, it will automatically be updated on your phone within a matter of minutes, providing it has synchronized through a data connection. 
So we'll tick these to synchronise everything. Once happy, we can click the back button and that is a Google account connected to a Sony Xperia S.